Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make the best turkey meatloaf. You guys love my meatloaf recipes, so today I thought I'd share a recipe for a turkey meatloaf that's absolutely tasty. Start by preheating an oven to 375 degrees and lightly grease a 9 by 13 pan. Then you'll need two pounds of ground turkey, and I'm using one pound of white meat and one pound of dark meat. To that, you'll add in one cup of plain breadcrumbs, and then one teaspoon each of dried basil, dried oregano, dried parsley, and salt. And then you'll also need half a teaspoon of pepper. Then we have two wet ingredients that will bind this all together. You'll need half a cup of milk, and then you'll also need one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Then you'll want to mix this all together. You don't want to overmix this, just mix it enough so that the breadcrumbs and all the seasonings are evenly dispersed throughout the meat. Then we're going to shape it into a loaf. Scoop this all out into your prepared 9 by 13 pan and then gently shape it into a loaf. Now every good meatloaf has a delicious glaze, so next we're going to make that glaze. It starts with one cup of ketchup. Scrape that into a bowl here, and then I'm going to add in a quarter cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, a little bit of salt, and this is optional, but I like to add a little bit of red pepper flakes, and then whisk this together. The red pepper flakes add just a little bit of heat. Next, we're going to take half of this sauce and pour it right over the top of the meatloaf. It should drizzle down the sides of the meatloaf on its own. If it doesn't, you can just use the back of a spoon to spread it out. Next, we're gonna bake this for about 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, take it out of the oven and pour on the rest of your glaze. Increase the temperature to 400 degrees and bake for an additional 15 minutes to let that additional glaze caramelize a little bit and get everything all delicious, and then you're ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.